Hello, everybody. This is a pick a card reading. I'm going to do some things like this similar randomly when I have time. It's about, you know, it's a double edged sword. What I want to say with this is it is what you mostly do or where you have a focus on usually or what you're good at. But what you need to change about it and that that double-edged sword to it is, there's always, you know, another side, is what actually is your strength there, okay? So that's basically what I'm looking at here. So whatever card you pick, that's going to be your energy. And it's going to be in some area in your life or whatever's going, you know, whatever's going to be that motivates you or what you usually focus on in uh, some way. And it's a general reading, so I'll be using this very much in general terms. So I'll give you a minute, pick a card where, where you feel you're drawn to, and I will go through them. I'll probably put some timestamps on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to now start. If you pick card number one for your double-edged sword energy, you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, it is a cup card. It does represent emotions love, feelings. So that is where you have a strength, but then you have also something you need to change with it. When I look at this here, The struggle that I feel with this, this over-focus on this. So this is this, uh, the rugged edge of the sword. Is dilly-dallying at times. Of course, boredom. Expression. Missing opportunities. Too much preparation at time. You make progress at times in these areas. And then it's like you, um, there's a lack of follow through or impatience. Maybe you get bored in these areas. But you have the foresight. You have the enterprise here. Expansion can be a problem. Sometimes opportunities are not in your local area. So you need to look beyond that or you are looking beyond it and you're not doing or feeling it's there with you at the time. The problem is you end things sometimes too fast with um, either love relationships or with, um, you know, your goals and desires, the emotions here. You want to bring in new beginnings. Sometimes you don't allow growth to happen. Change. Sometimes change is hard for you or you're wanting change too much. It's that underlining energy where you want it and liberation. So deep down, your subconscious wants liberation and change and transition. You are always extending your lightheartedness, okay? But it's lighthearted. This could be in love relationships, flirtatious. Does anyone really take you seriously? The thing is, do you really want more? But that's what you're exhibiting to others. So those are the rugged edges there. Your positive end is manifestation. Your positive end to this is definitely manifestation. You have the power to manifest the good and the bad, but sometimes you can miss these opportunities. So there's the double-edged energy. Another thing that you have the power to correct this or get what you want with love and desires and with the emotions here is creativity. Motherhood. My, um, your mother could be very significant. This could be something that has been created blockages for you. 
being artistic. Art is very strong with you. You had the power to research, to um, um, to analyze and read beyond or read somebody's actions. Deception, you could be good at yourself. It's like there's a mask that you wear or you can see when relationships do um, or people around you wear masks. So that is the, the power you have, though. But you also have the power to draw in soulmate connections, partnerships, agreements, things that you like, soul contracts, things that you desire. You have the gift and power of manifestation, too. So that is your double-edged sword when it comes to emotions, when it comes to um, uh, desires, things that you want, um, because it is a cup card. Okay? Hope that made sense for a very uh, general. Now, you have power numbers now that I'm picking up for you. Is three, eight, and seven. Three, eight, and seven. All right. So that concludes it for card number one. Now we're going to move on to card number two. Okay, so if you pick card number two, your focus is on growth, wealth, money, job, career, management, time management. You review things, yeah. There's a huge focus on that. You focus on future investments. Maybe you're overworking a workaholic. You may feel that you don't always make enough money somehow. Finances, work, career is your focus on growth and recalibrations and reviews. The rough edge of the sword here is where you tend to deal with the energies around you is always needing to recalibrate, right? You tend to deal with greed, indulgence, maybe overspend sometimes, then at times you're frugal, greedy people around you. You may have ups and downs, material losses um, and gains. Maybe you're over-focused. Um, deep down, there's this uh, insecurity that where you feel um, you need to always make uh, money. You're obsessed with wealth and status at times. But you are, I mean, you are financially inept. So you're always working and focusing on that because you're always uh, fearful of sanctions, losses. Um, you probably have been ups and downs with um, finances. It's like you're always in the deep here. There's always someone around that could always um, tumble your growth. It's always watching your step. You kind of always walk to the edge of a pit. You always have to recalibrate to remove yourself from a situation. And, uh, and you're always proceeding with extreme caution. So it's always a review. The other side of the sword, which is your power here and strength, is artistic, music. For some reason, music, either the lyrics or music, is helping you. Maybe you were supposed to be a musician or write music. You know, you do have patience. Um, you know how to negotiate. You know how to settle. You know how to uh, make progress no matter what. You're patient. You'd be great with public speaking. Even though I feel you're diligent, um, you'll be able to pick up no matter what. When oppressive forces come around you, you know how to bend. You know how to let that pass without hurting you. You know when to be flexible in your thinking and attitude. So that really helps out a lot. 
You know when to balance. You always pick yourself up. Uh, you balance. There's a resourcefulness to you. You do have high ups and downs. You know how to juggle. You know how to juggle your money. You know how to transfer your money. You know how to, um, you know the difference between profit and loss and how to recover. Income, outgoings, financial decisions, financial stress here and there, but you know how to, you're, you're, you're great with business sense, but you're a workaholic, yeah, and that does help you at times. So that is your power. Quite interesting. You'll always be able to find a way to make money, a second source of income somehow. Okay, so that concludes it for card number two. Now we're going to move on to card number three. If you pick card number three, you have a major arcana of the strength. When we see a major arcana and strength, it represents the strength, willpower, self-discipline, being able to mediate, self-control, could be any area of your life. But what I pick up for a lot that have chosen this card is, and I forgot to give the power numbers for card number two, so I'm going to have to go back. So the timestamps could be a little bit inaccurate. So I'm, you know, I'll get back there. Strength. The rugged edge of the sword here. People around you, gathering people around you. Being the peacekeeper. Or at times, it's the passive aggressive energy that you possess. You always need a lot of support around you, whether you realize it or not, because we're looking at what the rugged edge of this is. At times, it's like forming army around you. It's not just for war, but it can be for peace, right? So it's like delegating that. It's like you definitely need a lot of support, but at the same time, you want to lead. You're looking who's going to follow you or you won't do it on your own at times. And then no one will if you aren't absolutely sure of your own motives. Self-love is the issue here. And knowing that you're stronger than what you know. The other uh, side of the um, sword, which is the power that you have here, and the strength with this, is things turn around. You work well with shift of energy. You grasp opportunities. You do change things up. You create a turn of events. Your strength is your bright new ideas, your new plans, your intellectual ability. It brings you victory and success. You do have breakthroughs. You have ability to concentrate, to communicate, to realize the truth. You have a force to you and strength. And focus, you could focus very much intense, uh, uh, with intensity. Being around stimulating people. And you stimulate others. You find resolutions. You're going to know when you have to purge old friendships or old associations. For you to resolve your situation. So you do have that strength. But you have to commit to your goals. 
and then resist temptation and nothing stands in your way. Being resolute at things and all things is very important and self-love. You carry some kind of luck there. So that, that is that other side of the coin there for you. Numbers that are power for you. 61, 10, 1 okay and I'm going to go back to card number 2 so I'll put 2 times stands for card number 2 for thy power numbers as well card number 2 numbers that are important for you 3 and 32 Okay. All right. So that concludes the reading. I will be doing random readings similar to other things. Let's pick a card readings. That's what showed up for each card. It's the double set sword energy where we have that focus. What is our strength in a way? And then what our power is to it and the side that's rugged. All right. Bye for now.